Like the pace that Frankston set here, though, they're, they're definitely uh, they're trying to challenge Knox on this. They've got to be both ends, though. Knox will be happy to go back the other way. And it's Ott again. Ott is now up to eight points. Yeah, she's been shooting the three ball really well early in her career. As Scherf goes inside, throws up the one-hander, and get this time gets it to fall. Raiders just got their spacing mixed up, but now they get it into Scherf one out, and that's difficult. Penetration and the kick out to Riley, and then finding it back to her. Great play there by Franks, and the transition looks sharp tonight. And wearing well, she's looking sharp as well. And look at her run the floor. Oh, great hands, great find. Scherf with a kick out, and it rattles in. Um, and they've, they've brought a, you know, their, their junior program has been exceptional as well. Um, and I think out of all the Victorian clubs, they have been the best. Well, it's not just her ability to guard taller opponents, it's her ability to stay in front of the smaller ones as well. It has been as she just gives up a back cut. <laughs> Scherf shooting the three. Oh my! Lauren Scherf is doing it all. Waring kicks it to Wapman. Great defence by Richards. Breaks it up, but oh! Hands it off. Jackson couldn't get it, and it ends up in Scherf's hands anyway. Especially when you, you look across the Raiders lineup, they've got scorers everywhere. Yeah. Oh, it went under the screen this time, and you cannot do that with Abby Waring. Watman calling for the pick and roll. In this case, it's the pop. And she gets it to drop. And I say that from a Raiders perspective, you know, they want to build a, uh, a contending team right here. They've got a lot of talent. And, you know, Frankston have shown them that, uh, you know, you've got to play both ends of the floor. They'll come away from this with a couple of things that they'll say,